All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got a stunning piece here with me. I have the Caltrotex Varn 3. This is a beautiful piece, handmade in Russia, designed by Maxim Soltamuradov. And we're gonna approach this from a visual, auditory, and kinesthetic point of view. So basically I would look how it sounds and how it feels. All right, let's get started. So first of all, immediately, this knife reminds me about uh, of um, Kaneda's bike in, uh, in the uh, famous anime movie, Akira. It's just beautiful. You can see the wheels here. He, this is where he stands. It just like, <laughs> it resembles that shape, that design to me. And um, you can notice like the handles, they have these inlays. These are titanium inlays. Uh, 3D milled with this diamond checkered pattern. They are screwed in from the inside. In fact, you can see any screws holding these in place and they, you know, they give a really clean look to the, to the handle. Um, these inlays are inside, inlaid with this beautiful carbon fiber scale. The carbon fiber scale, it's like 3D sculpted. It's insane. This is not straight, it's a curve. It's beautiful. The lines that they draw here like are just insane. Just, just, a, just a piece of art. Uh, you can see that these screws, this is the pocket clip and the, uh, the pivot clip and pocket clip screws are proprietary. Uh, Cultrotech gives you this tool, um, you know, there's one size for the pivot screw here, another size for, you know, the, the screws in the back. So it's a, it's a really nice thing. They encourage you to disassemble the blade. If you want to clean it up, you know, take care of it. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's beautiful. The look of this blade is incredible. I mean, the level of detail it's insane. For example, look at just just look at the lanyard hole. Look at what they did here. They integrated the lanyard hole into the back spacer, which is like again 3D milled with this insane level of detail. Look at this. It's just it's just a piece of art. As you can see, the back spacer is as you know the integrated lanyard uh, hole, which creates like a, an allocation space for the tip right there. And it's beautifully designed. Very, very nice. The jimping on the back spacer, it's, it's beautiful. It's just, look at this. You see? A common element on this side over here, a little bit on the flipper tab, you know, subtle jimping, even the flipper tab, it's 3D machined. Look at that. They didn't leave anything to the chance. They really thought at like every single corner, every single little detail was like well thought. Um, I mean, this flipper tab, would make Nick Shabazz pretty happy. I mean, look at this. It, it It's like almost invisible. It, it's beautiful. Um, every, look at, look at the handles here have all the edges beautifully machined. So like here, 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 there's no sharp corners like left out. Beautiful, beautiful job. And they managed to do all this, keeping extremely tight tolerances. I mean, if you check here, you cannot, uh, I mean, I don't know, I'm not sure if a hair would fit between the blade and the liners. I don't know, like a piece of paper can't fit, 100%. So, I mean, this blade closed is just beautiful. Let's see how it looks open because this is not a small knife. This is a four inch blade, but the blade handle ratio, it's incredible. So it gives a overall well-balanced look. You have this 
one line continues here which breaks down just here with a beautiful curve it's incredible i mean the the, the blade it's superb as a beautiful design nice drop point stone wash beautiful belly a flat here the i mean the the stock is pretty thin behind the edge the the edge it's ridiculously thin it's probably thinner than a sebenza you can see that they're really proud of their heat treatment uh, this is a yan hook heat treatment um, of course in boiler m390 blade this is a 63 uh, hrc so uh, incredible guys uh, again check the blade i mean the fuller how has been machined it's just beautiful it's like two layers they, they they opened it up it's it's just phenomenal this full flat grind gives like a extremely incredible look there's just a little bit of flat here but it, it, it's all it almost looks like a, a full flat grind you've got a really nice sharpening choil here i mean look at the plunge grind lines Come on, guys, look at this. Look at this triangle just pointing this way back, giving you plenty of space here. It's really well thought, well designed. I mean, they, they put a lot of work uh, in, into this blade for sure. Um, this is, I wouldn't consider this like a jimping because there's like, you know, really almost no attraction, but it's a, again, nice design element. It's been reprised like all around the blade. So, you know, it just gives a, an astounding look, I think. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, the blade here is beautifully crowned. It's nicely, nicely done. The only thing um, with this knife is that has just a little bit early lockup. I mean, not a huge deal and nothing unsafe. That's the only thing uh, that you can, you know, say about this one if you check on the inside has the the liners have been heavily skeletonized to reduce the weight in fact this is a oh really it's a big knife but it's a very lightweight one another aspect that i'm really in love with is the symmetry uh, this side is the same almost as this side except for the pocket clip so they kept the design of the inlay here to give a less distraction you know to give less distraction to the look at the same time integrating a beautiful deep carry pocket clip really nicely integrated inside the carbon fiber um, scale beautiful job right here and overall the symmetry is maintained you see on both sides so it's uh, awesome, really, really great job. Um, all right, let's uh, let's hear some sound because this has a really peculiar uh, sound when it when you deploy the blade. Um, this has a uh, I don't know if you can see from here. So this knife has no detent ball hole. So the detent ball right there just sits outside the blade right there so when you open the blade it's absolutely silent it just you have just the detent ball here making this little noise and then just locking up it's almost silent but if when you flip it you hear this hydraulic piston sound it's like i don't know a, a robot arm moving hear this you hear that and then it locks i mean this sound is it's just beautiful it's I, I i never heard of this one here again it's it's really beautiful i don't know if the Mike can pick up this the, the nuances of this sound, but it's it's beautiful. I love this. And the lock, 
is solid, but at the same time with a light sound. So not really intimidating, but beautiful. When you, when you close the blade, it has a controlled shut sound, like, you know, beautiful. It's a little dampened, dampened, light, but it's pleasant. It's like a, like a, you know, a car door closing almost. So really, really pleasant sounds overall. And uh, yeah, let's let, let's uh, approach a little bit the kinesthetic aspect of this one because the feeling when you hold this blade is just perfect. The ergos are incredibly well done. I mean fits in my hand perfectly. There's no hot spots whatsoever from the pocket clip. It's very, very low profile, superbly designed. I really, really like that. There's a, you know, jimping here. It's not really giving you any traction, I would say. I think it's just like a design element, like for decoration almost, but maybe from the side, but not really. Uh, great jimping here to disengage the lock. You have an amazing amount of traction here, so it's gonna be very, very easy, easy to uh, disengage the lock. Um, you have like, I would say three, four ways to deploy this, the blade. Of course, you can uh, push button, open. You can do like a light switch. All right, kind of like, you know, light switch. You can do like a thumb flick, flick like this, or like spidey flick, but it's kind of like awkward sometimes. Yeah, you see. So you have, let's say, three, four ways to deploy the blade. So fidget factor, it's there, especially because this is lightweight, really, really light. And, uh, you know, you have no blade play. All right, there's nothing. Nothing moves. It's just, uh, it just gives you like a, extremely solid feel in your hand uh, you know every corner every you know every point is chamfer contour 3d machine i mean the touch feel you get from holding this knife is smooth even if it looks like you know full of sharp corners it's not it's extremely smooth in the hand so uh, you know if you fidget with it your fingers are not gonna get tired or not gonna you know hurt because it's rounded all the way around even if it has some let's say sharp corners but they're not so really beautiful the the action of this one is just insane i mean look at this this is a knife running on washers it's not on bearings this is smoother than many knives on bearings. Uh, I mean, opening action is insane. Look at the closing action. This is butter smooth. And again, this is on washer, guys. Look at this. This is the smoothest washer uh, knife running on washers I have ever owned and it's just beautiful uh, the washers here are designed with um, small pockets to hold uh, the lube uh, inside of them and uh, you know they confer like this glide glassy glide kind of feel to the blade that I've never I've never felt anything like that on any other knife guys this is ridiculous the fidget level of this one it's insane you can just flip it open and just you know close it like this open close open close. it's just so smooth and so pleasant to do that that it's you can spend quite a lot of time by doing that and again your fingers are not gonna get sore because every corner has been really well rounded I mean, guys, look at this. I think this is uh, 
Somebody will hate me for, for saying this, but I think this is better than Shirogorov. And, uh, you know, it's the first brand that comes to my mind, like being Russians, uh, you know, both Russians, but it's just a beautiful thing to play with. And uh, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised uh, to own this one, to handle this one, because it's, uh, it's truly a beautiful piece of art and a beautiful knife. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.